prior principle that the cosmos possessed at least virtually whatever perfection it gives to the effect, a corollary to that is called the principle of resemblance. Like begets like. Now, we know this to be the case because if we observe nature, we notice that dogs beget dogs. Dogs don't beget cats. Cats don't beget dogs. Uh, dogs don't beget amoebas, and amoebas don't beget human beings, etc like begets like because I have the perfection I'm capable of passing on that perfection if I don't have it I can't pass on the perfection and that's why like begets like there is a variant to this called the principle of uniformity of nature and it basically is a key principle this is something which is again being denied in relationship to modern evolution but also even in the context of modern science and it states this, it's called the principle of uniformity of nature. A necessary and natural cause always produces the same effect, one effect, and always acts with the same intensity and in the same manner. Now, chemistry proves this over and over again. But this is also why we keep doing the same. This is, why is that the case? It basically boils down to this. If I take hydrogen and I take oxygen, and I put them and I exclude and put them in a chamber where there's nothing else in it. And then I uh, put heat to it or I do a, a put something to it which causes them to ignite. Then what's going to happen is each and every single time that I take hydrogen and oxygen and I burn it, I'm going to get water each and every time. It's the same thing. So if I take a ball and the gravity is the same. The air resistance is always the same and everything's the same and I drop it, it's always going to keep doing the same thing over and over again because nature always acts the same way based upon natural laws. And so chemistry, as I said, proves this. Physical laws prove this. This is why, this is actually why we can do an experiment here on Earth and then look in the cosmos and actually see that's what's probably going on there because the same set of conditions are present and therefore the same effect is occurring. But this is also why when somebody keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again, thinking they're going to get a different outcome, that's why the joke is that it's called insanity. Well, Actually, it is mentally ill because it denies this principle that you can keep doing the same thing over and over again and you can keep having the same set of causes and somehow end up with a different effect. This is exactly what is proposed by people who say, if we just do it differently here, we can have communism in this country and it will work out fine. Every single place that this has been tried, the conditions are always the same. There might be different historical circumstances, the culture might be slightly different, but you still have human nature, which is flawed, has the same set of difficulties, and also there, the propose about the structure, about how it's supposed to be in place, is always the same, and as a result, the effect is always the same. So anytime anyone says that if we just keep trying it, eventually it will happen, we even see this in the church. We keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, thinking we're going to get a different outcome. At a certain point, we're going to have to sit down and say, we can't keep doing the same things that we're doing now if we expect the church to be vibrant and healthy going forward. So that all being said, if someone thinks that they can continually do the same thing over and over again and that they're going to get a different outcome, it violates the principle of uniformity of nature.